Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Brian Redgrave here with you today at 5 in the morning currently. And I want to share with you something I bought yesterday. Game of Thrones, the limited edition collector set, the complete series. Fun fact, I've never watched Game of Thrones. So this is going to be the first time I'm going to watch it. You're probably wondering, Redgrave, if you've never seen Game of Thrones, why did you buy this? Well, for one, it was on sale. From 330 to 194 I always plan on watching Game of Thrones. I like to buy everything I like. And I know for a fact that I would end up watching the show and liking the show. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up liking it, considering how much people love it, except for the last season, for whatever reason. So... That's why I decided to make the purchase. It was a sale. Can you blame me? So, let's get started with the unboxing. We got some phone with what looks to be a key. Let's see. Yes, a key for something. Maybe it'll open something here. Thank you for your purchase of the limited edition Game of Thrones Complete Collection. Well, thank you, HBO or whoever, to make the most of your Complete Collection. We suggest removing your hand of the King Ping from its protective foam and inserting it within the, layer, the leather strap closure to keep the panel safely within the shadow box. The protective film that you'll, be, that you'll find on either side of the shadow box windows can be removed for an obstructed display of the interior panels. I don't care about this. I want to see what's in here. Okay, let's see how... This is pretty heavy. Something fell. Something else fell. Okay, so let's take the foam of this thing off. Wow, this is actually very heavy. There it is. Well, I pick up the two things that fell out of the box. Whatever they may be. Oh, nothing important. The Judah Codes. And an episode guide. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. I'm going to be honest. This is a beautiful looking box set. Indeed. The things that fell were digital codes and an episode guide. I guess it goes through. Yep. Like any episode guide, just the episodes. Some images. Let's get. Oh, is this what this is for then, huh? Let me see something. Yep, that's exactly what it's for. To keep it safe. So, number one. Wow, I must say this looks very, very beautiful. I'm excited. I'm excited to watch the show for the first time. Wow, this one's even cooler looking. I'm pretty sure that if I would have watched the show beforehand... Some of these images would have made more sense to me. But this is how I roll. I roll backwards sometimes. Oh, season three. Each strap has a number of what season it's in here. I don't know if you can't see that, but... See? Three. It's actually pretty neat. Season four. I really do wonder, though. Because like I said, I've heard many, many great things of the show. Many of my friends watched the show. And then they all told me the last season sucked. So I'm worried about watching that. Because I'm very excited to watch the show. I'm really looking forward to watching the show. Season 6. Who knows? Maybe I'll enjoy the last season. 
o- unless it's really that bad. I don't know. I've never seen. I- I've never seen a single episode, guys. I know that's crazy to hear, right? But you know what? It's better for me to watch it now that the show is over and I can enjoy the whole thing without going on breaks and taking a one year, you know, hiatus or whatever. Ah, the infamous season eight. Makes me wonder. I re- I really am curious why people hate this last season. Don't spoil in the comments, please. I do. I'm looking forward to watching this. And I guess this is bonus content. Yes, additional bo- bonus features. And Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, Conquest and Rebellion, animated history of the Seven Kingdoms. Is that like an animated movie or something? I don't know. Well, I must say, this is actually a very beautiful looking package. I can see why it's this expensive. Would I have dropped 330 Absolutely not. But yet again, I haven't watched the show. If you've seen the show, you probably feel differently. But I did drop 194 on it on sale. It's just the thing, they were selling all eight seasons in a regular Blu-ray case for two hundred. And then this was on the one ninety four, six dollars cheaper, and it was this big beautiful box set. I'm I'm like wow, I like I don't know why they would do that. It doesn't make any sense. Alright, let's put this bag boy back into place. Let me know if I wanna re- I'm gonna watch the show and I feel like reviewing the show. What do you think, though, guys? Should I watch the whole show and review the whole show in one video? Or should I review it per season? Watch season one, review season one. Watch season two, review season two. I think that'd be better. Because that way, if I also hate season eight, like anybody else, I, I don't know. I don't know why people hated that last season. But if I also hate it, I might be able to talk more about it. So what's going on here? This is not going in. There we go. So what do you guys think? Should I just go per season? I like that idea more. That way I can also talk about points. And if I review a whole show, I might forget something to talk about, something important. At this point, anybody's seen the show but me. So I can talk about spoilers. I should be able to talk about spoilers just fine. And if something pisses me off, just have absolutely no mercy on it. Well, let's let's put everything in here again. But this is what this is for. It's not a key, it's a pin. To protect it from it coming out. There we go. See, that's what that's for. So, that's Game of Thrones. A limited edition collector set of the complete series. I'm actually very excited to watch this. I must say, I really am. I've heard many good things about the show from everybody. So, hopefully you agree. Because if I end up not liking the show, I'm going to be a little upset after dropping all this money, right? But, I will say... The box set is beautiful. The packaging, everything about it is just amazing. My only Game of Thrones exposure was uh, Telltale's game that I played that like two years ago. I was lost. <laughs> so, there's one close final look at it. The side. The back. And the other side, each being a season throughout here. I really like that though. And they all have their numbers when they stick out. So that was the unboxing of it. Let me know what you think of this unboxing. What do you think of this box set? And if you think I should review the whole show in one video, or should I review it in eight videos? I think that's more fun, right? I can talk about each season. Well, this has been Brian Redgrave here. Red Grave, out.